Dear colleagues, it is an honor to present the report on science, technology and ethics alongside my colleague from Japan. I am proud to address you on behalf of the Knesset and the people of Israel who have dedicated themselves to scientific and technological progress in the service of humanity. Indeed, I am sure that you have all used Israeli inventions, perhaps without even realizing it. I don't think we can remember the world without ways, drip irrigation that has made deserts bloom worldwide. Who could imagine the Argo medical technologies would allow paraplegics to walk again? All of these are a taste of Israeli innovation. But without support and encouragement from the Israeli parliament, which gave the people the freedom to think and create, none of this could have happened. Israel is a small country that wasn't blessed with natural resources, and we have worked hard to achieve this success. We realize that the progress of science and technology never stops. We must always continue to adapt and innovate. Even today, these efforts continue, and some of Israel's best scientists are working day and night to respond to the coronavirus pandemic. But the greatness of technology, science and innovation is being able to share it with the world. As speakers of parliament, we must realize the power of technology to share knowledge, cooperate, communicate and conduct business despite coronavirus. We must encourage developments that serve ethical ends while keeping up our commitment to human rights, privacy and the SDGs. We must also be aware of the, co of the challenges. Technology can divide nations rather than unite. It can incite instead of serving the common good. We must condemn such effort and ensure the responsible use of scientific developments. We must also make sure that no one is left behind in the race for progress and that every citizen has access to technology and science. Let us use technology to further strengthen democracy, democracy and the power of our cooperation through debates, legislation and strengthened oversight capabilities. We can ensure that sound policy is made and followed. This isn't an easy balance to strike between protecting our citizens with technological abilities and protecting them from the same technologies. And this is exactly why we must work together. If we do, I am confident this can be the building blocks of a better future for us all. Next, President of the House of Councillors of Japan, Mrs. Santo Akiko, will report on human resources development in the fourth industrial revolution.